Today, I feel ready for the day. Ready and prepared to get in a trade or stay out of the markets just in case nothing falls in line with my plan. Alright guys, let's uh, see what the market is telling us today. Alright, so far so good. Okay, like this, like this, and say it like this. This I like. Crazy. Alright, um, lack of volume at the moment, but for sure I'm seeing a, a lower, I mean a higher low formation. So we'll see, maybe we can get up to these highs if there's some volume in the market today. We gotta check news. Um, maybe it's because of news that the market is like this. Maybe something big is coming out today. Um, let's see. GU and GJ. Alright, so yeah, this is a downtrend. Officially. Um, let's see right here. Uh, yeah, downtrend officially. Yesterday we said that the fact that this failed to create a higher high and actually created a higher low was a sign of a downtrend and also the fact that this level broke and look at that retest this retest also so now um now we know that eu and ej are moving because of euro not because of the dollar and the yen and gj and gu is also moving because of the pound not because of the dollar and the yen um which can be a little difficult because they contradict each other, but at the same time, I just won't care. As, uh, I just won't care about what, how the dollar is doing or the yen is doing. I'll just go based off of um, the pound and the and euro. I'll see their strength and see whichever takes me, gives me a better uh, opportunity to get in the market. Um, this is looking good so far, I'm not gonna lie. Push, pull back, it's about six minutes to make a decision. Um, let's see. Yep. Um, a lot of consolidation. Okay. Alright. So, uh, yesterday I was actually in a trade. Um, I wasn't able to record yesterday, guys. I had a little difficulty. Um, but basically this is what happened yesterday. I... Let me go back and show you guys. Alright, so I was looking at EJ and um, I decided to place my trade here on this candle. So actually, let's go a little further back. Perfect. Alright, so I saw this... Um, this downtrend happening saw so this high this uh lower high being formed but it failed to create a lower low and it created this area right over here and i decided to place my entry right above these candles here so it can trigger me in and i decided to go for a one-to-one -one from here to here um let the trade play out I got triggered in with this candle this happened and this happened then this happened and I was like okay well possibly could lose this trade but just holding and if anything it's just a pullback see this happen I was like okay that looks really good once I see this happen I'm like all right perfect let's place this trade at half stop loss here and now to just let the trade play out um if another higher high or low is created i will close the trade or make it a break even this happens this happens here here and then it took me out um 
I don't think that if I would have had a full stop loss, I would have won this trade. Yeah, I wouldn't have. I would still be in that trade now. And uh, honestly, I don't feel like holding trades overnight anymore. I did that that one time, didn't really like it. So I'm okay, even if I took that that L real quick, it's fine. Um, but market conditions <clears throat> just kind of died off. So now all I'm doing is uh, check, seeing that, being aware of that, and I probably will take pound more pound pairs today. I'm liking how that's looking. Um, let's open up MT4 and everything because I might just take this trade today. We still gotta look at news, so let me go look at that real quick. Alright, so, so far, 8.30. Red, red nose at uh, 6 30 now about two hours yeah we have time i might get into this trade i'm not gonna lie looks pretty good i can possibly like, enter from down here let it trigger me up I like how um, G looks on MRI. But GJ did close super strong. I mean, they close pretty much the same, right? I could possibly come down here. This has a nicer range, I think. I have a nice range to come to. Compared to this, uh, could be. He star here, here, and I mean, maybe the lowest I can get to is right over here. And this, make this decision now. This is a nice area to place my stop loss above this too. Kind of like this. I can place it right there and go for a one to one, nice range right there. And this is way too far. I'm gonna take to you. Yeah, that will take to you. This right here, this right here, and then a one to one. Should I place my trade now? Yeah, it's 19 seconds. And there we are. We just placed the trade, and now we're gonna let it trigger us in. Um, I do see this as a downtrend on the four hour, and it's a rejection in this level here. Um, we see a rejection in this level over here. We see a push, we see a pullback, and now we're seeing a push again. Very st simple, straightforward, very quick, and uh, hopefully it's a good trade. Um, I don't feel like we're seeing 10%, I mean 2% today, so, but I would. I would enter this trade also. I just didn't like how my stop loss would be so wide. And this is like very safely above this. And uh, yeah, so I think it looks like a good range. So not triggered in yet. Let me um, set this up for how it's set up on my MT4. My entry is Right. 
There you go. Alright, guys. Um, I'll let you guys know when. Uh... Alright, guys. I'll so... give you. I'll give you guys an uh, update. This so. trade was a losing trade. Uh, my analysis, I liked my analysis and everything. I just think it's a losing trade. Uh, potentially, the market could be creating a low here. And then just pushing up maybe into this area here up to here maybe up to here and then then we'll see what happens potentially it can just be doing a lower high formation before a continuation to the downside um i'm going to be waiting to after 8 30 to take a trade um eu pushed bullish And so did EJ, which makes me think like if I could have gotten into that trade at all. Um, but I don't know if I could have because I don't think I see really anything that I would have liked. Besides the fact that it pushed straight up, I would have still waited for a pullback. I would have still had to wait for that. So. I don't know, I don't think I would have been able to enter this trade, but it is a good trade. Um, and then for now, for GJ and GU, let me make this cleaner. I'll just remove this, let's put this here. Um, this potentially can come up into this area. Yeah, so we'll see if an uptrend continues for me, then I'll enter a trade and uh, hopefully make some money. Alright, guys, so basically, this is what happened today. Um, I decided to go for a buy here and above this candle, place this here, you go for a one to one. Um, I should have waited till after news candle, after the 15 minute news candle, but it triggered me in and then now it's took me out also. So now um, I'm done for the day. My row is max two losses a day and yeah, we're done. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Now I am at negative 1% and a half so hopefully tomorrow's a better day all right i'll see you guys tomorrow.